Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here with me this morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle and I'm with Steris. And as you all know, you have 3085 tables throughout your ORs. Um, but today, and actually this week, we will be trialing some new technology for you, and that is the 5085 General Surgical Table. Um, and one of the things that I want to point out, first and foremost, that I'm sure you've all already noticed, is the base configuration. You'll notice right off that the base is configured differently than it is on the 3085. On the 3085, the long end of the base is up near anesthesia, and the short end is at the foot. You'll notice here the short end is at near anesthesia and the long end is at the foot. Now, that was important on the 3085 so that you knew how to set up your patient for imaging access. You'll find, and probably be happy to hear, that now you don't have to have the forethought prior to putting the patient on the bed because now you have the ability to slide the tabletop to the head or to the foot depending upon where you need that imaging access. You no longer have to think in advance whether or not you should put the patient in reverse orientation. So if you take a look at the base up here near anesthesia, you'll see that there's a couple of things for you to take notice of, and that is one, the battery life indicator. You'll notice here that it's full right now, full charge. There's also a um, cover. When you open that up, slide that over to the left. There's a place for you to plug in for electrical access. Very, very important to note. On your 3085s, you've had them a long time. They have batteries within them, but you are accustomed to plugging them all in because those batteries are probably good, kind of like a car, for about four or five years. And once they go down, oftentimes they're not replaced because it's an added expense for your center. Um, instead, you plug them in and they work just fine. Please know these are brand new tables. They have batteries in them. They work really well. And I would encourage you to remove that cable and get it out of anesthesia's way and get it out of the circulator's way so that you can free up the floor here um, at the head of the bed. And know that the battery life is good for two weeks. So uh, with Monday through Friday use, full day use, you'll have a good solid two weeks of battery life on these tables. Another thing you'll notice at the base, at the head end of the bed, is the label with the weight capacity information. It is actually pretty similar to the 3085. Um, there are three numbers to be aware of. The first one is 1,200 pounds. You can move the surgical table height up and down with a patient on it up to 1,200 pounds. The more important number for you is the middle number, and that's 1,000 pounds weight capacity. That includes full articulations to include uh, Trendelenburg, reverse Trendelenburg, lateral tilt left and right, flex and reflex, kidney bridge. You can utilize this table with all articulations as long as the tabletop is centered over the column up to a thousand pound patient. The last number is 600 pounds. You can utilize this surgical table in full articulations, even the slide to head and to foot for a patient up to 600 pounds. So let's look at the hand control because it's easy to use, but it is quite different from the 3085 that you're accustomed to. Now I know that anesthesia will primarily be using this, but it's important for you to know how it works and what the functionality is of it so that in the instance that anesthesia maybe doesn't know what they're doing, which never really happens, you'll be able to help. Um, so the first thing you'll notice in contrary to the 3085 is that there's an LCD screen at the top of the hand control giving you lots of information about the table. Um, first and foremost, we have slide to the foot and slide to the head. So as we indicated earlier, we can slide the tabletop now for C-arm access versus having to reverse the patient. Next, we have height up and down. This is my favorite one. Um, this surgical table goes 22.8 inches from the floor vastly different from the 3085, which is 27 inches. You'll notice immediately, you probably won't bring a patient in ambulatory, but if you wanted to, you could, and have them sit right down on the surgical table and lay down. Much easier than transferring. So we've got height up and down, low height of 22.8 inches. Next, we have back up and down. We have leg down and leg up. Trendelenburg and reverse Trendelenburg. Important to note that on the 3085, you only have 25 degrees of Trendelenburg. And on the 5085, you have 30 degrees of trend and reverse trend, which is advantageous for many things, including bariatric surgery and da Vinci cases. Um, we have tilt left and right. You have a couple of extra degrees of tilt available on the 5085 as well. And flex and reflex. 
and a nice difference between the 3085 and the 5085 is now your kidney bridge, your kidney elevator is available on the hand control. It's no longer the old crank model that you used to have to do underneath the head section. So additionally, it's also radio lucent. So you can press and hold kidney up, which brings us to another nice component of the 5085, and that is the auto limit sensor. So what just happened is I tried to raise the kidney bridge and it wouldn't go. You might look at the hand control screen and see that it says back down. So what that is indicating is that we are triggering our auto limit sensor. The 5085 has an auto limit sensor built into it that prevents any portion of the table from colliding with another section or portion of the table. Unlike the 3085, you cannot cause damage to the surgical table by another piece of it. Now it does not detect foreign objects, but it will prevent the table from colliding with itself. So when we try to raise the kidney bridge, it, we know that we have to go back down in order to be able to finish that function. So we'll press back down, get the back out of the way, and then go back to kidney up. And now we see we can raise the kidney bridge. Another nice feature is that the kidney bridge is now radiolucent. One of the indicators on this LCD screen also is the floor lock and unlock. You'll see there's a green lock button here indicating that we are locked down to the floor. If we press and hold floor lock, the screen will tell us to hold three seconds to unlock and the table will proceed to unlock. And that padlock on the screen will turn from green to yellow and show in an open form. Also, we'll get an orange light on the floor lock button to show us that we're unlocked. We press and hold to lock it back down and it'll say hold one second to lock and then it'll tell us that it's locking. Um, now, everyone's favorite button on the 3085, we also have on the 5085 and that is the return to level. So you press and hold return to level and it will return the table and the patient back to level in the most ergonomically correct manner. Another small nuance of the 5085 that's different from the 3085 is the stop button. So the stop button will stop the table movement in an emergency, but it's also the off button for the hand control. So you can turn it off. Important to know if you ever come over and see anesthesia not knowing how to turn the hand control on, any other button other than stop will turn that hand control back on for you. Now, you might also note that there is a reverse orientation button on the 5085 hand control. So we talked about the fact that the 5085 now has a sliding tabletop. It can slide to the head nine inches or slide to the foot nine inches for C-arm access. There is a reverse orientation button for two purposes. The good news is you don't have either one of those here, but you might in the future. So I'm gonna let you know that there are two accessories that you could utilize with this table that you'll use reverse orientation. The first one is the beach chair. The leg section is removed and you would apply the beach chair to the seat section and the patient's head would be now at the normal foot end of the bed. The other one is the 36 inch carbon fiber extension that also applies, leg section is removed and it applies to the leg receptacles at the foot end of the bed and in that instance you would use reverse orientation. Otherwise this should always be green indicating that you're in normal orientation and the patient's head goes at the normal end of the bed. Another major difference between the 3085 and the 5085 is the leg section. Now, rather than just lowering it down, you have the ability to remove the leg section. Very easy to do. In fact, this is the featherweight leg section, so it only weighs 14 pounds. If you take your hands right in the middle of this section of the bed and pull out on the levers and then pull out, the leg section is removable. Very light, as you can see. Um, something to note, when you go to place this back into the leg receptacles, you don't actually have to pull these levers out to do it. To make it easier on you, grab the, the leg section anywhere that is easiest for you, take it, plug it right in, and there are three indicators to tell you that you've plugged it in and it is securely locked. The first one was the loud click that you just heard. The other is the fact that you will only see the green line indicating that you're plugged in and you won't see the yellow line. And the other is I tell everyone, just give it a quick tug, make sure it's locked on both sides, and then you know it's secure and won't fall off onto your foot. 
Um, so important to note that the head section on the 5085 is exactly the same as the head section on the 3085. It's also important to note that there are two ways you can set up the 5085 for cysto cases, for GYN cases, for any case when you're putting the patient's legs up into lithotomy in stirrups. Um, the first way is exactly like you're accustomed to on the 3085 table, using the head section of the table. The head section of the 5085 is exactly like the head section of the 3085. You can take the head section, bring it down to the foot, and use it as a table extension to support the legs before getting the patient's legs up into lithotomy. Once you get the patient up into lithotomy, you can remove the head section, and now you can also remove the leg section rather than just lowering it down out of the way. You can take the hand control and lower the leg receptacles and you've got access to the patient in stirrups. The final thing I want to point out about the 5085 are the backup controls. Just like the 3085, the 5085 has backup in case something were to happen to your primary hand control. The difference is the method of backup. The 5085 has a drawer at the base foot end of the bed. If you pull this drawer out, you'll see there is a secondary hand control in here for your use. And you use this hand control in conjunction with the foot pedal on patient left of the 5085. So you can depress the buttons on the hand control, pump the pedal. You can do all articulations, including lock and floor lock. The only thing that you do not have access to on the backup controls is the return to level function. So thank you guys so much for being with me today. I'm really excited. I think you're gonna love this bed. My associate and I will be here all week for you if you have any questions. There's also an evaluation form that we would love for you to fill out with your thoughts and um, your opinions and let us know if we can help.